this kind of data in a fraction of the time that we were before. So I think a lot of the records that we have in the current day universe, those are going to be broken really soon. So today, I'm just going to skip the general introduction about web and go directly into today's subject. But we also need to understand that the Webb Telescope's findings are pushing the boundaries of our current astronomical theories. And as we speak, it's on the brink of revolutionizing our understanding of nature and its workings. So scientists make us to understand that recent observations from Webb have uncovered something unexpected in the early universe, challenging scientists globally and suggesting that what the Webb Telescope found may be a major problem for our standard model. In an unprecedented discovery, astronomers have spotted a mysterious structure located deep in the early universe. If you're in any doubt about how significant these new images are, I wish you could be in this room because around me are the scientists, the astrophysicists, the cosmologists who really understand how they've changed our view of the universe. According to the standard model of cosmology, approximately 13.8 billion years ago, in quotes, the Big Bang happened and the universe has undergone non-stop expansion ever since. But we all know that the 13.8 billion years age of the universe is wrong. So just bear with me for the sake of this video. So when talking about expansion at the beginning of the universe, it would mean that massive objects are moving away from each other. This means that the galaxies we observe outside our Milky Way are moving away from us. To measure how far a galaxy is from us, we use something called the cosmological redshift. In a nutshell, the higher the redshift, the farther away a galaxy is from us. Now, light from distant galaxies takes a lot of time to reach us. It would imply that the more distant a galaxy is, the earlier in time we see it. But there is a problem. Light from galaxies far away stretches into infrared wavelengths, which the human eye cannot detect. The Hubble Space Telescope can see only from ultraviolet to near-infrared light, which is why it rarely found extremely distant galaxies, with GNZ 11 being one of them that is shown as it existed 13.4 billion years in the past, just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy has a Z or redshift value of 10.957. This made astronomers think that there were very few galaxies beyond redshift 11. Now here comes the James Webb Space Telescope, which can see in infrared, and objects at redshifts 11 and above can be detected only by infrared light. So what next? Well, we launched the telescope and pointed it towards the heavens and voila. A very different picture of the universe started to emerge from the depths of time. The telescope revealed dozens of galaxies that could be among the earliest known galaxies in the universe. Using early observations from the telescope, astronomers looked for galaxies at very high redshifts, which would indicate that these galaxies formed earlier in the universe than expected. As the telescope scanned the cosmos, NASA detected several galaxies that may have been the first to appear in the universe about 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. Very soon, it discovered the oldest galaxy in the universe at a redshift of 13.2 the glass ZE-13 galaxy, which was formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. Finding such a large number of galaxies in the early parts of the universe suggests that we might need to revise our previous understanding of galaxy formation, said the lead astronomer of the finding at the University of Missouri. He also added that our finding gives us the first indication that a lot of galaxies could have formed in the universe much earlier than previously thought. While the new discovery took the whole scientific community by storm, another primordial galaxy showed up, this time existing only 390 million years after the Big Bang. So what did astronomers find in the latest Webb Telescope image? Well, in recent weeks, we've learned about several groundbreaking discoveries by the Webb Telescope that challenge our standard understanding of how distant galaxies formed shortly after the Big Bang. People are really interested in what are the surprises that we're getting out of the web. First, they want to see the beautiful pictures and be told what those pictures are about. And then they say, well, what's new? What did you find out that we didn't know before? And of course, the big answers are uh, the, the first galaxies grew differently than we expected. And we don't know why their old predictions were wrong. Adding to these discussions, the James Webb Telescope 
has made another significant discovery in the early universe. The MIRI European Consortium GTO team recently announced the detection of an extremely red object that was missed by most deep near-cam surveys. They found this object while searching for faint sources in the new images received from the Webb telescope. Faint sources are important because the Webb telescope captures less light from distant objects, causing them to appear faint and red in its images. While looking for faint sources, the team stumbled upon an extremely red object that previous surveys couldn't detect. Scientists believe this object could be one of the most distant ever found. However, sometimes nearby objects appear faint due to dust clouds, but the team has ruled out that possibility. The object appears extended and has remained in the same position for a year, leading scientists to reject the idea that it's a brown dwarf in our galaxy. Currently, scientists don't know what the object is, but in a new research paper, they've proposed three possible explanations. At this stage, researchers initially suggested that the faint object could be a dwarf galaxy with abundant dust, located approximately four to five billion light years away. However, further investigations have deemed this explanation less likely. Another proposed explanation posited that it might be a distant dusty galaxy that existed one to two billion years after the Big Bang. But researchers find this explanation also improbable. However, the third explanation has garnered significant attention, with scientists expressing more confidence in its validity. In their paper, scientists disclosed that the object could be a galaxy sharing observational characteristics with the recently discovered small red dot galaxies by the James Webb Telescope. Remarkably, this red galaxy is positioned at a redshift of Z equals to 15, indicating its existence just 100 million years after the Big Bang. If this third explanation holds true, it would mark the oldest and most distant galaxy ever observed, challenging our understanding of the universe. The discovery of these minuscule red dot galaxies has already confounded scientists because they are much more massive and luminous than anticipated by current models. Now the revelation of another object even further away threatens to disrupt the standard cosmological model posing a significant challenge to our comprehension of the universe. Moreover, recent findings have presented additional evidence against the standard cosmological model. According to conventional norms, galaxies were not expected to form so early. However, a newly discovered galaxy dating back roughly 13 billion years appeared long before the expected formation process involving giant halos of dark matter. This early distant galaxy contains more stars than the Milky Way, despite forming only 800 million years into the universe's 13.8 billion year lifespan. This suggests that these galaxies somehow formed without dark matter, seeding their formation, contradicting the standard model of galaxy formation. Well, scientists are now questioning how this is possible, how a galaxy could form without enough dark matter to trigger the galaxy formation process in the early universe. Claudia Lagos, an associate professor of astronomy at the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research says, having these extremely massive galaxies so early in the universe is posing significant challenges to our standard model of cosmology. This is because massive dark matter structures, which are thought to be necessary components for holding early galaxies together, did not yet have time to form this early in the universe. To understand how these galaxies came into existence so early in the universe, we'd have to delve into what occurred before the Big Bang. In conclusion, current efforts in this direction are mere speculations. Some theories propose supernatural elements, such as a designer, while others remain within the realm of physics, like the concept of a multiverse, which encompasses an infinite number of parallel universes or cyclical models of the universe, where it undergoes repeated cycles of birth and rebirth. Nobel Prize winning physicist Roger Penrose, in contrast, presents a fascinating explanation for these massive early galaxies. 
In his theory, he discusses the existence of another universe before the Big Bang. Although this idea is currently controversial among cosmologists, Penrose's perspective is intriguing for philosophers of science. It introduces new avenues for understanding the Big Bang, transcending ordinary cause and effect explanations. Thus, it serves as a significant test case for exploring the various ways in which physics can elucidate our world, warranting further attention from philosophers. With the Webb telescope approaching the final year of its science operations, scientists anticipate more extraordinary discoveries that can shed light on why, how, and when our universe came into existence. That's all we have for you today. Hope you guys liked today's episode. Thanks for watching.